Well, it's a WDSU first warning weather impact day because of all the heat and humidity across southeastern Louisiana, leading to high heat index values. We'll get to that here shortly, even as we head into next week. You're not, probably not going to like those temperatures. We'll get to that seven day as well. Live look at the regional view, though, and show you what's happening across the deep south. We are watching showers and thunderstorms that were developing on the bottom right hand side of your screen, of course, is what is now Tropical Storm Debbie. But let's go ahead and start off here with our local weather. We did see some showers and thunderstorms develop here this afternoon, but they are starting to dissipate now as we get closer towards those evening hours now. Let's talk about Debbie though here across the eastern Gulf of Mexico and you can see the system is looking a little bit more impressive in terms of the infrared imagery showing very cold cloud tops indicating strong showers and thunderstorms and the National Hurricane Center went ahead and pulled the trigger this afternoon just before we came on the air today to let us know that it is now a tropical storm because the center here is becoming better defined and we're also seeing some good banding developing on the north side as well as the south side so this is all expected to consolidate around here and uh, intensify over the next few days and already the Florida Peninsula getting drenched with heavy showers and some thunderstorms as the rain bands continue to pinwheel their way up towards the north and there is a lot more wet weather to come because they're on the east side of the system so they're going to be looking at a pretty strong flood threat along with up towards the southeastern United States also looking very wet here from the system as well. Lace advisory from the Hurricane Center moving northwest at 15 has winds of 40 so that officially makes it a tropical storm. Let's take, uh, take a look at the forecast cone Here's tomorrow afternoon. You can see it across the eastern Gulf, 50 miles an hour. It then takes that northeasterly turn. It's going to feel this troughing up to the north and the weakness here in the high to the east. So that's going to steer it towards the Big Bend area of Florida, becoming a Category 1 hurricane just before making landfall there, heading into Monday afternoon. Here's Tuesday night or Monday night into Tuesday morning, weakening back to a tropical storm over Georgia. And then you can see the steering currents then begin to collapse, and we may see the system kind of meander across the off the southeastern coast of the United States, probably around a tropical storm, maybe near a hurricane. Some models show that, but uh, a little bit uncertain more towards mid to latter part of the week. But they could be definitely looking at some heavy rain from that system later next week as that system kind of stalls out near that region. Now, there's still some tropical alerts in effect. Tropical storm warnings in effect for the west coast of Florida. We now have hurricane warnings posted for the Big Bend area of Florida. That means that they could be looking at hurricane conditions uh, expected within the next 36 hours or less. But the good news is the rest of the tropics are quiet and there's no development expected anywhere else over the next seven days. Temperatures here locally, really the main story. We're looking at uh, readings right now into the 90s, and it feels like triple digit heat when you factor in relative humidity, feeling like 103 currently at Lakefront, and that's why we still have heat advisories in effect for Southeast Louisiana until at least seven o'clock this evening. Going into tomorrow, heat index values around 105 to 107 in many spots, so we're looking at, at yet another weather impact day because of that, and heat advisories also going into effect. Monday, more of the same, anywhere between 105 to 108, so another day of seeing some heat alerts here expected. The showers we see now dissipate here as we head towards the evening. Nearly stationary front moving very slow combined with some daytime heating that could set off some showers here as we head into tomorrow afternoon. And as we take you into Monday, maybe some spotty activity here and there, but overall rain chances are looking very low as we head into next week. It's really just all about the heat and you'll see here on the WDSU first warning seven day forecast highs into those upper 90s to triple digits, especially Tuesday through Thursday, making those weather alert days Friday and Saturday still very hot.